Good evening, I'm Alex Dierkman. The private company which will manage the Indy to Chicago Amtrak line starting in February is spelling out plans for boosting ridership. The line runs four days a week, but the new managers, Corridor Capital, want to see daily operations with service to two to three trains a day. They will add some amenities immediately, including Wi-Fi and bike storage. And as for the speed, the train's new managers say the Hoosier State Line will need federal infrastructure grants to update its tracks to make travel times more competitive. A new Indiana University study reveals children's social classes are impacting how they deal with obstacles at school. The study revealed students who come from working class families aren't getting as much attention from teachers. A professor of sociology, Jessica Calarco, says kids from working class backgrounds aren't as likely to seek help because they're worried about getting in trouble versus students who are part of the middle class who aren't afraid to go to the teacher with a problem because their parents explain teachers teachers are there for support. Calarco says the gap in educational outcomes could get smaller as schools become aware of the issue. And a legislative study committee will start discussions on developing a statewide water plan tomorrow. This after the Indiana Chamber of Commerce released a study detailing the critical need for a state-driven water resource plan. Researchers say the state's water supplies are strong, but greater conservation and a system to deliver that water to underserved areas is necessary. The committee will hear, will hear from environmental experts, utilities researchers, and local government officials as they start discussions. And here's a look at the weather tonight. An 80% chance of thunderstorm, 68 degrees as the low. And here's a look at the five-day forecast. Tuesday, an 80% chance of thunderstorms, highs around 82 degrees, and mostly sunny on Wednesday. 85 degrees is the high and 69 degrees as the low.